let me show you how to build the most glorious combat ship in Starfield. I like to call her the Vomit Comet. This battleship can house eight crew members over 4,000 cargo and still has 100 mobility. She is totally and completely amazing. Oh yeah, and her weapons kind of kick butt too. Meh, see, it's curtains for you, see? Meh. In order to build this ship, you're going to head over to New Homestead, which is located on Titan in the Soul System. When you get here, just look for the ship services technician. The very first piece you'll be starting with is the Nova Galactic Landing Bay. Under the 2x1 HAB section, you want to select the variation called the Living Quarters. Now, don't snap it directly like this. You want to snap it one socket behind. This time we're going to grab a 2x2 HAB, the variant is called the Galactic Battle Stations, and we're going to snap it right to the top. Back to the 2x1 HABs, this time we're going to add the Workstation. When you grab your cockpit, you can grab any of the cabots. If you want the largest cargo capacity possible, make sure you get the C4 size and then snap it exactly like this. Grab the 600T H3 fuel tank and then snap it to the back of your workshop. Exactly like this, see? Meh. When selecting a grav drive, obviously the most expensive one, the JS-52, is the best, so yeah. There are like two different reactors that pump out 40 power. I'm gonna go for the balls look with the SF-40. Grab the 2LPF Kelling, which looks like a wing. It's actually gonna be an engine support for the Vomit Comet. Let's duplicate that Kelling, flip it, and then stick it to the other side. We'll be grabbing four of the Amun Dun X300 engines, and you know, they look so big and huge, it's... I'm not trying to say I'm compensating for something, but it kind of looks that way. And considering Nova Galactic only has one docker you can actually choose, it's going to make your choice super easy. Under Structural, grab the 1LTF Weapons Cowling and stick it right in front of your docker. Hook up with the Nova Wing Port, we're going to add one to each side of the docker, you know, to make it kind of look like a spoiler. I reckon spoilers don't make any sense, but we're going to go with it. Mm -hmm. When picking your cargo, I've tried all kinds of different combinations, and just going with the Galleon S202s is totally and completely perfect. If you choose any of the bigger cargo holds, it will actually reduce your mobility below 100, and if you choose anything lighter, well, you're going to rip yourself off of how much loot you can hold. Ultimately, this is the most cargo you can add without reducing your mobility below 100. Grab the first variant of the NG-20 landing gear and snap it right behind the cargo bay. We're going to need three of the wide variants of the NG-20s. Now, they have a snapping point on the side, which is key because we need four total landing gears for this build to work. If you want a more powerful shield, you can actually snap it to the top of your reactor. But for this build, I'm going to go with the 28T Defender Shield Generator and snap it right to the landing gear. Weapons are pretty much based on personal preference, so feel free to add whatever weapons you like. My personal preference, though, are these Alpha Beams, man. I'm going to add four of them. They completely shred opponents. No matter what weapon you use, just keep in mind you can't have more than 12 power per fire group. For my next weapon group, I'm going to go with these Disruptor 3340 Alpha Beams. Again, weapons that do damage to shields and armor at the same time is totally cool, plus they attack at a really long range. At this point, you should only have one error left, and that means you don't have assigned weapons to a weapon group, so let's get that sorted right now. Keep in mind, we're at the final stage here. You can finalize your build with warnings, but never with errors. I'm just going to add some final touches to the ship before we slap a paint job on the Vomit Comet. Now, I love adding these portholes to my ship, even though the ones in the back, they're going to kind of be looking up at the spoiler, but it is what it is. Anyways, I used to never add portholes to my ships ever, right up until I did for the very first time, and I'm telling you, it is so cool to look at them, you know, for no reason. Finally, it's time to add a paint job to the Vomit Comet, and you can just, like, double-click any of the pieces. It'll highlight your ship all the way, and then you can just totally color it all at once. Generally, pretty much in every single game I play, I go with a blue and yellow ship, you know, because Hawks Gaming, that's what I do. But this time I'm going to go with a nice, nice, really super bright red. I want my enemies to see me coming. That way, when I puke all over the windshield, they'll be able to see that too. Look at that ship. Look at that ship. The bump comes amazing. I decided to go with a red, gray, and black paint scheme, and man, I love it. Let's finalize this build, and with all parts shown, it's going to cost you about 430,000 credits to build this ship. 
Every single time I build a ship, the Vomit Comet is no different. I have to totally head inside and check out what the interior looks like. Your bed is going to be right here, and in this back room, there's going to be a cooking station as well as a seating area. You can access the second level as well as the hatch to leave the ship up there, but I prefer to access the second level by entering into the cockpit over here and just taking the stairs. Your cargo access panel is located right there, and man, look how big and spacious this is. I love these cockpits. And here we are entering the galactic battle station. Now, this is a 2x2 two two hab, so it's going to take up a huge area. Now, this allows you to have a whole bunch of crew in your ship. If you head into this door right here, it'll take you into the workshop, and every single ship needs to have a workshop. Trust me. If you're not modding all the loot that you're looting out in the world before you sell it, then well, you're doing it wrong. So it's always handy to have a workshop on your ship. You will need your piloting maxed out to build this ship, so head over to Serpentis. This is by far the very, very best place to kill pirates, and you're just going to be going back and forth between these gas giants. Just head on out to Serpentis with the very best A-class ship that you can possibly muster and smack them down until you max out your piloting. Then you'll be able to build this ship really easy. When you first pop into Serpentis, don't be too hasty and head to another location in the system. Just hang out and chill for just a second. Sometimes the pirates are lazy, you know. They're probably just afraid to get smacked down, so they take just a little bit to show up sometimes. A lot of these ships that you're going to fight here uh, basically won't really scale to your level, because I'm level 325, and a lot of these lower level ships still pop in here, which is awesome for you, because it'll help you train really quick. Once you beat them down at the first gas giant, like I was explaining before, just head over to the other gas giant. There will likely be pirates there as well. As you're hopping back and forth, you're going to notice that there will either be pirates spawn at each of these gas giants, or there's going to be some dude trying to sing, or some colonists trying to leave the area. If the gas giant area spawns anything but pirates, just immediately jump to the other gas giant. Likely there will be pirates there. And this is an endless way to farm pirates, like to your heart's content, because it'll just like never stop until you're done doing it. The moment I was ready to start getting my piloting skills up on this tune here, I went immediately to Serpentis with the very best A-class ship that I could muster, and it literally took me maybe an hour to max out everything I wanted to max out here, so it is totally awesome. Plus, you know, the loot is actually pretty decent too. Make no mistake, this is an endgame ship build here, but trust me, it will not take you very long. Even if you have a crappy pilot rating, it'll take you maybe an hour to get that all the way to 4 here in Serpentis. So yeah, as long as you're not greedy like me right now and like loot everything in sight. There you have it, this is the Vomit Comet. She's extremely maneuverable, max maneuverability, has over 4,000 cargo, can have 8 crew members. Man, I'm telling you, she is totally a great ship, you're gonna love her. If you found this video helpful, why don't you check out my Starfield playlist here? You're gonna love it.